welcome to KMTV News Update, broadcasting to viewers in Liberia and across the globe. My name is Anthony Kukui. The National Elections Commission, through its hearing officer, has announced the final ruling into electoral dispute of the just ended Moserado County District 15 representative by election. Announcing the ruling yesterday at the headquarters of the National Elections Commission, NEC's chief hearing officer, Monan Ville, said the hearing officers were not convinced that candidate Tila Yuri has established and proven that irregularities and fraud were so extensive to warrant the notification of the entire results. The hearing, officers, thus the hearing officer has therefore mandated the National Elections Commission to conduct a rerun at six quarantine police prisons in the district. While well, speaking to reporters after the ruling, candidate Tiara Yuri says she will remain constructively engaged with the National Elections Commission in order to ensure that processes leading to the conduct of the rerun will end up in the interest of the people of the district. She's also recommending the changing of the head of the tally center, noting that if, similar, if he remains in the position, similar incidents will occur during the rerun process. Meanwhile, Coalition for Democratic Change lawmaker Akaros Moses Green has maintained that he will resign his post as a lawmaker if his party's candidate, Abu Kamara, does not win the District 15 by election. Representative Green said the complaint filed by opposition was a clever plan to delay the election of candidate Kamara. Well, moments after the pronouncement by the NEC hearing officer, CDC Chairman Moba Molu accused the commission of taking side in the process. According to Chairman Molu, the NEC allegedly refused to investigate complaints filed by five candidates against Darius Dillon, but was declared winner in the senatorial category by the NEC. He told a news conference Wednesday that the NEC and legs determined to plunge the country into chaos. There was complaint filed against the Sandalong by five candidates before results were announced. The commission took no step and they revealed that that complaint was filed. I have the document of possession, they are all released, published on their own website. They did not investigate. They did not hold results. They proceeded to announce and declare results and declare a winner. That was the law. One person filed a claim against our candidate Abu Kamara. They united interest in that complaint to extend the result that was announced by games like Kamara leverage those results were recalculated and reduced statistics that was announced were true and they proceeded to quarantine Twitter police centers that are considered as our son role. And today, it has been speculated by insiders that they are about to announce rerun at two of the police centers where we defeated the opposition. Here are the questions begging for answer. How can complete file again, Mr. Delon, did not get investigated? How come, even though those complaints were filed, but they still announce or declare a winner? When it comes to the CDC candidate, what was your prior complaint? They took it serious, they investigated. They reduce votes, the quarantine to the police centers, and we are hearing now that they are about to announce a rerun at this public police center. This is unacceptable. It is clear they want to plumb this country into a chaos. It is clear they are determined to disrupt the Democratic government because they don't like the person in power. Yes. Well, news just coming in, the Center for Transparency and Accountability in Liberia Central has re-emphasized calls for President George Weah to declare his asset and take the lead in the fight against corruption. We will bring you details of that development in our subsequent news broadcast at 8 p.m. Well, those were the latest from our news center. Do join us at 8 p.m. tonight. Better still, you can visit our website 
at www.kmtvlibera.com for more news and information. Until then, my name is Anthony Kukui.